Hi, I'm Michael King with Future Designs, and I'm going to be talking a little bit about the Renesis YRDK RL78G13. The kit includes the Research and Development Board featuring the ultra low power RL78, a USB cable for power and debugging, and an installation DVD which includes a quick start guide, sample projects, and documentation. Now I've just uh, set up all the tools from the installation DVD and I'm going to power up the board for the first time. I've connected the USB cable that came in the kit to the RL78 and I'll just plug it in in the debug port at the top of the board and it'll boot with one of the sample demos from the, from the DVD. Now the board is in run mode and we know this because switch 5 positioned to the bottom right of the um, LCD, the four switches are all positioned up. I'm going to remove power and put the board into debug mode so we can um, download new code from the CD and reapply power. Now I've navigated to the theremin demo on the example CD and we're going to open that up in IAR and do a quick download and debug. All right, and after the code is downloaded and running, um, the theremin demo should pop up on the LCD, and we can just press the switch three button to toggle sound on and off. And as you move it around, it'll change the frequency and volume using the accelerometer. Let's take a look at the built-in features on the RDK. For audio, we have an amplified onboard speaker and audio jack. The microphone is also amplified and the potentiometer labeled analog in can be used as a volume control. Located next to the potentiometer there's an infrared emitter and detector. The user interface features include a graphical LCD, three push buttons, and six all-purpose LEDs. Onboard digital sensors include an accelerometer, temperature sensor, and ambient light sensor. For communications, we have an RS-232 port, as well as an application header and digital PMOD connector, which can be used for Wi-Fi, RF, Bluetooth, and much more. For storage, we have a micro SD card slot and a 512 kilobyte serial EEPROM. For power control, we have a FET circuit for DC output and a track circuit for AC output. 